kindly take out a second click on the subscribe button right below this video for every stepping out according to the word of god and staying true there is a glory that comes with it so that glory is the validation that you have followed the patterns of god hey that you started out and the glory was not there does not mean it is not god it means that you are still in the process mananda shabana man how there is the balance to this thing you know people look at you and say your result is what matters but hey you may not be getting the result now but it does not mean that you are not in faith it does not mean that you are not following the, the patterns it means that you are still in the process when you finish your result will come out when you are in faith your results will eventually come out so don't judge yourself now there's a balance to what i'm saying no don't don't judge yourself by your current results as long as this is god and you are following him instruction by instruction even though the result may not yet appear it will appear eventually if it is faith results must show even if they are not showing now right now do you understand that so the glory is the validation that you have followed the patterns of god so we see that in the building of the tabernacle exodus 25 verse 40 god told moses make sure you build according to pattern so there was a pattern for building of the tabernacle and god told him make sure you build according to pattern so there's a pattern for that business and god is telling you make sure you build according to that pattern according to the word according to the instructions i've given you make sure you carry them out in that pattern there's a pattern for that relationship for the glory of god to alight upon that relationship there is a pattern to follow for the glory of god to alight upon that business there's a pattern to follow for the glory of god to alight upon your marriage or family there's a pattern to follow for the glory to alight upon your career there's a pattern to follow make sure you follow that pattern there's a glory ahead and then in chapter 40 of that exodus chapter 40 verse 33 to 35 we see that when moses finished building according to pattern the glory came so there was a number of chapters from the point that god spoke to moses to the point that there was completion you will look at moses at that point before the glory came you'll be looking at moses and be wondering what are you doing where is your evidence where is your result and moses will tell you don't worry i'm busy according to pattern so between the time that god finishes in instruction in exodus um 31 those instructions took a lot of time a lot of chapters i don't know about that i think it was in 40 days he gave it to moses in 40 days but he took chapters but he finally ended in, in chapter 31 of exodus and then the time that moses completed the, the work was in exodus chapter 40. so you see the number of pages of books written in between that was the process that was the process where it was as if there was no glory it was as if ah this person what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing are you sure this is god that is the process you must stay through that process i remember i'm not talking about time here i'm not talking about time the emphasis is not time it's about the process it's about the process so you need as you are writing the the chapters as you are writing the chapters don't give up you are writing the chapters you are building it seems as if the glory is not coming you are building you are writing the chapters don't stop don't give up keep writing the pages keep writing the chapters ah a time will come you will get your chapter 40 and the glory will alight la kubrenisha kapa le rusi se franda paragatu jifranda mana balakrano shata so it does not matter the amount of papers it takes you or pages it takes you to write as you are building just keep writing make sure you are writing and you are staying through following the instructions of god you will soon get to your chapter 40. this is a word for someone god is saying you will soon get to your chapter 40 and my glory and you will complete the work and my glory will rest upon that work so don't give up stay through talking about time now theologians have it that it, it, it took about nine months to erect the tabernacle stay through your nine months it's amazing because it, it, it also takes nine months for babies to be to be made 
that the baby is still in the womb does not mean it's not existing so even though you are not seeing the glory of the baby but from conception the baby is there the baby is growing in the womb so that your result is not yet visible does not mean that you are not following god i don't know why i'm emphasizing this it is it's, it's for someone it's for someone that your glory is not yet visible does not mean that you are not following god as long as you are following god you are following the instructions of god stay true the glory would eventually come imagine if elijah gave up at the seventh check he would not have had that rain so don't give up as long as you are following god don't give up there is a glory at the end it's empty with the word of god in john chapter 1 verse 14 he says the word became flesh right and tabana called amongst us and we beheld his glory so the glory is the end product that this is from god so the word came from god it alighted in the womb of mary and tarried there for nine months and then came out and we beheld his glory so your word will come from god it will enter your womb it will tabernacle in your womb it will stay there for a period of time for a process of time it will tabernacle it will stay it will stay in that womb for for your nine months and then when it is better when it comes out when it comes out you will see the glory so don't don't abort that baby don't abort that pregnancy don't say because i don't have results yet because my results are not if are not visible are not too much right now it means that god is not in is not in the process god is there don't abort your baby don't abort that baby stay with it with the baby your nine months is coming and your glory will be seen the glory of the lord resting upon that baby will be seen when the baby is breathed when the baby is fully formed go ahead and begin to cry out for the glory for strength to stay through the period of gestation the period of breathing the period of pregnancy for the strength let god strengthen you that business you need the strength of god to stay through retain the man to shave anataba that relationship that is from god uh, you need the strength of god uh, to stay true we have seen that it is not enough to have faith at the beginning you must have faith to stay true i see doors opening i don't know who that is for but i see a door opening i see light shining oh you have been in darkness for longer the light is shining a door is opening before you right now walk through that door step out into that into that room step out through that door oh mekota romantikua that is the door for your stepping out for your getting out that door is open right now step out step out into light shaka pale rusi fenetike pala re sono ba kaino se via to pa hangre tozia re ekete kete meni ya kapala ba ruse fenia bele ruse frahanta kapaya kutiaka rus entenando zizi feneka barando shifana kapa oh there is a strength coming on you right now there is a strength there is a strength you will carry through the process you will stay through the process this the strength to stay through the staying power staying power you will stay through the process that process required for your business to to God. that process required for food to appear in the name of jesus you will receive the room shanagata he says the vision for an appointed time even though it may tarry it will not it will not be appointed he said write the vision make it plain so that they that see it will run the vision for an appointed time the time is coming you will receive the the, the result of your plantings you are planting right now the results are not obvious a time is coming for harvest don't uproot your plants don't uproot that plant stay in faith what are the plants stay in faith what are the plants stay in faith water you say you may bear precious fruits in tears sowing in tears watering in tears staying through in tears but a time is coming you will reap harvest you will bring in your shapes with joy Kanatana kubele kanandananda 
zinenemha kana ninga nanto si kama na ya kaba na pa enenema na ya ne ne kama na mana ya kada da da oh jesus we love you Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Begin to Omoro oh, Gotosha. God just He still wants us to pray for that in this direction. And na na just pray in the spirit and pray as, as He leads you. Rata na na ma ba ba ba. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Rete de bele de bete bele ba. Rete ni managa. Rusele pa akrana. Rapa la tamia shapada. Ele Rusia veniata. Meme tinga na ganoa. Rugata da pa da pa. Rugata da pa lagam. Rete ke tebe. Rugata pa akatosha. Refino apuna aria kapa. Rete de bele de Rusiate manaba uje gete gete repene bede ba rokanandi repana ma jepene manaba ropana kata your hope is coming alive retene nemo soba de ba ranta de ba de tusham you have lost hope all this while it is coming alive rendo shamba ante rus ivrene regete rende de manaba jekete gete rozite pelega retene ma lambro do robogodo rogate de ba lania no no boja repata pa rusava na ma Le kamanaba o eskapa for tossing the Lord yet a little while yet a little while merano shaha ramanaba ziprangata the glory that is coming will come and not tarry yet a little while ramanaba rokatia the rus ifanada le penana ah is it cast not away your confidence for there there is a great recompense of reward do not cast away your confidence do not cast away your trust do not cast away your faith there is a great recompense of reward coming Ah, mono no no shebe, raga da ya da, raba da pa da, refenda de bene ba, regete na, lamba na na masha. The Lord is impacting onto you. Some persons right now, God is impacting onto you. The strength to step out, to get out, the strength to get out. God has been giving instructions. You just be writing them down. You just, you just be noting them down. He's giving the strength to step out right now. You are stepping out of that boat. You are stepping out at the beating of the Lord. You are stepping out to walk on the Waters, you are stepping out uh, to walk on the unknown, unknown, uncharted territories, uh, to walk on the unknown land, uh, into the unknown land. Uh, God is calling you, and you are responding right now by the strength of the Spirit. Uh, you are starting that business, uh, no matter how small you start, uh, you are starting that business uh, at the instruction of the Lord. Uh, and as you go, the steps are opening up unto you. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. In the name of Jesus, you will, you will, you will, you will prosper in this week. You know, when we talk about prosperity, most of us, the first thing that comes to our heart is financial prosperity. But you will prosper, and it goes beyond financial prosperity. You will prosper in favor with God and with man. You will prosper in your wisdom. You will prosper in instructions. You will prosper in understandings. In the name of Jesus, you will prosper in your eyes with your eyes being enlightened. Kana munde kia tana munda shive ne kapa kama na mandia. I pronounce this week blessed for you. Every scheme of darkness against you, I rebuke. In the name of Jesus, you are protected and defended. In the name of Jesus. I declare no harm comes upon you in the name of Jesus. You triumph in the name of Jesus. No evil comes near your dwelling. I place a seal over you, over your house, over your household, over your family. I place a seal right now. The seal of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. You will not die. You've been having um, um, dreams of death. Maybe physical dreams or thoughts of death. I declare over you, you will not die. Cancel that fear with the word of God. He says, with long life, I will satisfy you. You have life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you have life. You have life in the name of Jesus. Father, I will thank you. Be thou exalted. Ah, I see God handing keys to someone god is giving you keys he's giving you keys to your prosperity giving you keys to your relationship giving you keys to your marriage giving you keys he's handing out the keys right now those are instructions begin to be sensitive 
you will begin to receive instructions on how to do life from today in the name of jesus amen ah victory victory is certain Father, Lord, we thank you. Be thou exalted. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you for joining in. I remember your brother, Obunaya Aboke, of the Encounter Network. And, you know, you can reach out to us via email. Maybe you want us to stand with you in prayer or you want to share your testimony. Send an email to us at connectwith10 at gmail.com. That is connectwith10 at gmail.com and we'll get we'll hear you god bless you and do have a lovely new week bye hallelujah good day this is obud naya aboke if you are watching on youtube kindly take out a second click on the subscribe button right below this video you know subscribe to my channel so that you can receive um, more content as they come i believe oh i i i perceive that what god wants to do through this channel is massive through this channel lives will be transformed so go ahead if you are listening via audio um, you can head over to YouTube, youtube.com, um, search for Obunaya Aboke and subscribe to my channel. You'll be blessed in your subscription. I am telling you, I am telling you, God is said to do something massive. Um,